All right, so in this video, we're going to be using the stack data structure that we defined in a previous video. So the link to that will be in the description below. And in that video, we uh, define the stack class here. So all of this code is also up on GitHub as well. Again, the link is in the description. So we're going to make use of this stack class to solve the following problem here. And that problem is to determine whether or not a set of parentheses are balanced or not balanced. And uh, I guess to give a little bit of context or a bit of an example as to what a balanced set of parentheses or not balanced set of parentheses look like, uh, we can consider these two lines here. So a balanced set of parentheses is one where the uh, number of opening and closing parentheses match and also that they, uh, they're properly nested within the, uh, within the string of parentheses. So let's just take a look at some examples and I think it will be clear when you uh, see, it, see it in an example. So one example here is we have one open parenthesis and one closing parenthesis. So this is a properly balanced set of parentheses. Uh, this set here too, we have two pairs of parentheses, open, close, open, close. And here's another uh, example of a balanced set of parentheses where we have two opening parentheses, an open curly brace and an open square bracket, and then properly nested the corresponding uh, closing square bracket with the opening, same with the curly brace and the uh, remaining two parentheses. So that's uh, some examples of what a balanced set of parentheses looks like. And we can also consider some non-balanced uh, examples of parentheses as well. So this first example here, we have two opening parentheses and a single closing parentheses. So this isn't balanced because we're, we're missing uh, the closing parentheses for this outer parentheses here. Uh, this one here is also not balanced. We have three opening curly braces, uh, only one closing one. Just a random closing parenthesis hanging out in the middle of nowhere there. And also, uh, again, closing square bracket at the end with no opening square bracket. Uh, this one's pretty close, but then we have two closing square brackets without any opening uh, square brackets that correspond to these. So these are some examples of non-balanced uh, sets of parentheses. So solving this problem is actually something that your IDE or editor does. Uh, anytime you open a parenthesis and you don't properly close it, generally your editor will let you know. Uh, usually put some red squiggly underline under the parenthesis to kind of let you know that you need to close off this, uh, this statement. And the way in which the editor or IDE solves this problem is very similar to the way that we'll be solving it, and we'll be solving it using a stack. So in order for us to see how a stack can be useful for solving this problem, let's actually take a look at uh, how we can do that by going through some examples. And then we'll actually go and, and code it up. So let's consider this balanced parentheses example here. So we know uh, this string of parentheses is a balanced set of parentheses. And the way that we're going to solve this using a stack is in the following way. So we're going to loop through this string and we're going to analyze each of the characters as we uh, loop through the string of parentheses. And if we encounter an opening parenthesis, what we're going to do is we're going to push that onto the stack. And if we encounter a closing parenthesis, what we'll do is we'll pop off the element on the stack and check if the top element of the stack matches with the uh, element, the closing bracket that we have encountered. So let's actually step through an example because I think it's more clear if we uh, actually see how that happens. So let's imagine we're looping through this string of parentheses we encounter the first opening curly brace and we'll push that onto the stack. So we keep going, we encounter the next opening square bracket, so we push that on top of the stack, so now that's the top. We move along and we encounter our first closing brace, our, our first closing square bracket. So what we do is we pop this element off the stack and we check whether or not the closing brace that we've encountered is a proper match for the opening brace that we popped off. And in this case it is, so we just get rid of those square brackets and we continue on in our loop. So we now hit the other closing brace. So what we do is we take this, pop it off the stack and check whether or not this is a proper match for this closing curly brace here. So it is, so we get rid of it. And at the end of the loop here, we're left with an empty stack. So if we can go through the whole list of parentheses, end up with an empty stack, then this is letting us know that the uh, parentheses are matching, they're balanced, and they're also you know, properly nested. So let's take a look at a non-balanced example, and we'll see that when we do that, we'll have a stack that is not empty. 
So let's consider this example here. So again, using the same approach, we encounter our first opening parenthesis, so we push that onto the stack. We encounter our next opening parenthesis, again, we push that on top of the stack. The closing parenthesis, the first one we encounter, so we pop the top element off the stack and we compare it with the closing parenthesis that we encountered. It happens to be a match, so we move on, but we can't go anywhere since that's the end of the string. And we have a stack now that has a single empty, a single opening parenthesis. So this is letting us know that uh, this, this particular sequence of parentheses is not balanced. Let's take a look at a specific example which will be kind of an edge case. And that's one where there's no opening parentheses. So in this case we just have closing parentheses. So uh, whenever we encounter a closing parenthesis, what we do is we pop off the stack and we compare. So we, we start off here in the loop, but we have nothing to pop off. So basically, if we encounter a closing bracket or parenthesis or anything like that, and the stack is empty, then we can just immediately know that the parentheses are not balanced. That's kind of a specific case that we'll need to consider in our code. All right, so now what we can do is we can uh, actually code this idea up here. And like I mentioned, we'll be leveraging this stack uh, class that we wrote in a previous video, again, linked in the description. So since we'll be using that, I'm going to uh, import it. So I'm from stack, which is the name of the uh, file that this class is in. I'm importing stack, which is the name of the class. So if I do an ls here, both the stack uh, Python file as well as the file that I'm currently writing to are in my uh, working directory here. So let's create a function which is going to determine whether or not a parenthesis string, which we're given, is balanced. So a few things that we'll do right off the bat is we'll create a stack object, because that's what we'll be predominantly using in this solution. We'll also uh, have a boolean flag, which we'll initially set to true, and should we encounter any example of a uh, non-balanced uh, set of parentheses, we will set this flag to false. And the final thing that I'll do is I'll set an index variable equal to zero, which is going to keep track of where we are in the uh, string that we're looping through. So let's actually loop through that string then. So while the index is less than the length of the paren string and the boolean flag is set to true, we'll uh, continue looping through this string and we'll do sort of the approach that we outlined over here in these examples. So first of all, Let's take out the parentheses from this paren string. So paren is equal to paren string of index. That's just grabbing the first one, second one, whatever one we happen to be on. And then we're going to check if the parenthesis is an opening parenthesis. So if it's any one of these opening parentheses, what we're going to do is again, remember what we did in this example, we're going to push the opening parentheses onto the stack. So we'll say s dot push paren. So otherwise, if there's a closing brace, uh, there's a few things that can happen. So one of the things is this special case here, where we don't have any opening parentheses. So if it's not in an opening parenthesis, but instead of closing one, first we should check if the stack is empty. So if the stack is empty, we know right off the bat it is not balanced. So we'll say is balanced is equal to false. Otherwise, if it's something that we've, uh, if the stack is not empty, so that means we've pushed down an opening brace or a parenthesis or something, then what we'll do is we'll pop off the top element of the stack. So we'll say top is equal to s.pop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check whether or not the element that we popped off, so remember, let's go through this thing again. Let's assume that we've pushed this curly brace and the square bracket, and we're now on this square bracket here. So what we do is we pop off this element of the stack, and we compare it with the element that we're on, this, this square bracket here. And we want to check whether or not these are a match. So we popped off that element, and we want to say if 
if not is match, which will write this function. So this function is going to take the element that we popped off, which was this guy, and the element that we're on, which in this case is paren. So if this is not a match, if these parentheses do not uh, correspond to each other, this is a match, this would not be a match. So if these are not a match, what we'll do is we'll set the flag equal to false. And otherwise, we'll just keep going on. And actually, we'll just increment the index by one each time in the loop. And let's just finish off this uh, function here. We'll say if the stack is empty, because we know that if we have an empty stack like we did for this example here, then we're good. So if the stack is empty and also if we don't have any of these flags hit, so if it's empty and it's also balanced, then we can return true, otherwise we'll return false. So we still have yet to code this uh, particular function up here. This function is going to tell us whether or not this parenthesis, the one that we popped off the top of the stack, is a match for the parenthesis that we happen to be on. So this is an easy enough function to code up. We'll just call it isMatch. It'll take two parentheses, p1 and p2. And we'll just do a couple very quick and easy checks. So if p1 is equal to the opening uh, parenthesis and p2 is equal to the closing parenthesis, that's a valid set of parentheses. So we'll return true. Otherwise, if this is a curly brace, so an opening curly brace and p2 is a closing curly brace, then we'll return true as well. And the other case is if p1 is equal to an opening square bracket and p2 is equal to the closing square bracket, then we'll return true. And actually these should probably be, if this is true, else if, and then else if. And then finally, if none of these things happen to be the case, uh, we don't have a valid matching pair of parentheses, so we want to return false. All right, so that is pretty much all we need. So let's actually run this guy and see what we get. So let me try to print is paren balanced, and we'll give it a string. Let's give it an easy string. We'll see what this prints out. So I'm going to save that and Python stack balance parens. Let's see. So it doesn't know is empty. I think I missed the is there. Should be is empty, not empty. So let's save that, run it again, and we get true. So that's easy enough to figure out. How about something more complicated? So this is also balanced. Let's see if that recognizes it's true. It does. And let's see. Let's let's try it on something like this, which is not a balanced set of parentheses. So we'll do print is paren balanced, give it that, and let's see what it says. False. Okay, good, because we know that that's not a balanced string of parentheses. So that's pretty much it. That's how you solve this problem using a stack uh, in Python. And I'll see you in the next video.